Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Halton Hills housing update. So as we've been discussing, the market definitely is picking up. We are seeing an uptick in showings. Um, clients that were kind of putting things on the back burner are definitely re-emerging. Uh, first time home buyers are thinking about entering the market. So overall with showings being up, I think we are gonna see a really strong end of May. The interesting thing is the sales numbers this week don't look any better. It's just this overall feeling and I think a lot of realtors will concur that it is just getting busier. So let's take a look at the numbers this week and see how we did versus last week. So this week in Georgetown, we had six properties sell, which is definitely down from the week before, and none of the properties sold over asking. Although I know because my client participated in one of them, um, at least one of those six went into multiple offers. So it's interesting that we're seeing multiple offers right now and not necessarily seeing people overpaying on properties. I still think there is some hesitation. We did have a lot of properties enter the sole conditional status this week. So we may see a lot of those firm up and be accounted for in next week's sales. So I definitely think we are gonna see an increase in our number of sales in the coming weeks. There was 13 new properties listed. Um, of those 13, six of them were relisted. So we actually only had seven new properties enter the market. So three of the relists did reduce their price, but three other ones ones just had been on the market for a while and sometimes it's a strategy to relist them at the same price so that um, it just re-enters people's emails and um, kind of reminds them about the property. So in Acton this week we had two properties sell but we had five new listings. One was a relist so technically four new properties entering the market. This is the second week that we are seeing Acton's and new listings outpace their sales. It was kind of flipped there when the market was really struggling. Acton seemed to be um, just kind of staying pretty uh, steady and typically sales were outpacing listings, but the last few weeks we've seen a flip. So I do anticipate that we are gonna see Acton's inventory climb a little bit. In Glen Williams, we had one property sell last week and it was actually the new listing from last week. So that one went really quickly. It was listed around 1.1. So that is technically like a lower, more desirable price point than what's currently on the market. We did have two new listings in the Glen this week. One was a relist with a price reduction and the other one was in a similar price point to that lower 1.1 million. So I anticipate we'll see movement on that property as well. In Limehouse this week, we had no movement, no new listings and no sales. In rural Halton Hills, we had one sale and one new listing. So we're kind of steady there. In terms of active inventory this week, uh, things are kind of the same as last week. We did have quite a few properties terminate and not relist. So even with the high amount of new listings, um, we are seeing some properties come off the market. So that's keeping the inventory in a similar position week to week. So in Georgetown this week, we have 66 active listings. So we flipped again this week where the majority of the listings are under $1 million, but that inventory that has been sitting there over a million, like we saw some movement like the last few weeks, there's a lot of stuff that's having a hard time moving in that price point. Definitely the more transient price point is under 800,000 right now. So in Acton, we have 20 active listings. So that is up a bit from last week. Um, so not overly surprising because we're now seeing listings outpace sales. Glen Williams has 10 active listings. Limehouse just has the one and Rule right now is sitting at 24 active listings. So all those active listing numbers are not dramatically changing week to week. Some are slightly down, some are slightly up, but we're not seeing like a huge change in either climb up or inventory getting eaten up, so listings down. But like I said, I would be shocked if our numbers don't start to go up. I just feel really busy and I can't say that is how I felt in April. So I'm still of the thought that we are gonna finish out May very strong. The weather is starting to get really nice, like 26 degrees this coming weekend. And I think people are just kind of getting the itch to actually move. 
So despite this week's numbers not looking so strong, I do think last week was a strong week and I think the sold conditional properties are just gonna be reflected next week. So hopefully I'm not wrong, but I think next week's numbers are gonna present a little bit better than this week's. So come back next Tuesday and see what happens this week in Halton Hills. Have a great week, everyone.